the last level of our Google Analytics demystifying journey is level five, Google Data Studio. This is all about building dashboards from multiple data sources and having one place where you can customize almost everything to your individual needs. And I do this in order to have um, dashboards that tell me very quickly the answers to my questions that I'm asking on a daily basis. Today, during the workshop, we had the Growth Roadmap workshop, we discussed the North Star metric and why it's important to, to define that. And let's say my North Star metrics is, I want to increase the number of people who are visiting the live stream here on a, on a normal uh, meetup evening like this. And I can do things uh, that affect this. And I want to summarize all of those activities that can happen there in one dashboard. That is what Google Data Studio is for. Yeah, Jens is also loving the Data Studio. So how does this look like? Let's take a look at some of the templates that Google Data Studio even provides you without any hassle. This is an amazing Google Ads dashboard. Yeah, that, first of all, it looks very, way cooler because it's in dark mode. Yeah, I really appreciate everything that's dark mode. But I can see on a very quick overview what, what is my click-through rates, my impressions, the conversion rates, the, the cost per clicks, the development of those clicks. I can see my top campaigns by click-through rate, by conversion rate, by cost per conversion. And I can just put this together in a way that suits my needs. Um, this is an example of a YouTube dashboard. We are still completely within uh, Google Data Studio, but you can see that you have now the ability to put your own brand on that dashboard, yeah, and make it much more, much more your thing. Um, and you can see that there's that this is a completely different data source than Google Analytics or Google Ads. Now this is coming from YouTube, which of course is also a Google product, yeah. But here I can now easily see how many views do I have, what is my average watch time, and how many videos do get shared. Which of my videos do get the most views in the time frame I've chosen? Um, and of course, there are lots of e-commerce dashboard and sales dashboard. Um, here you can see how many sales I made. Oh, recently I made 1.18 billion of gross sales. Wonderful. Just 26 orders. Yeah, so this is a big B2B business sale dashboard. Yeah, where, I, where, where it's able to see, to correlate the revenue, for example, to search, yeah, for example. So 700 million of this revenue was created by Google search, uh, 300 million by direct, and we're making a lot of millions. So, and you, compare, you can compare that to, for example, the money you spend. It's very hard to get the cost data uh, into Google Ads, but with Data Studio Dashboard, that is possible. It is even possible with one fantastic cool tool called Supermetrics to get all of your cost data from Facebook to Google Analytics and Data Studio. Yeah, they are a little, it's a bit hacky. Yeah, I know it's, um, it's, it's, it's going like through a Google, uh, Google spreadsheet workaround. But you can now see for the first time in, within a Google product, uh, what did an action cost me? Yeah, not only an action on the ad, but an action on your real website. And you can also mix the, uh, those channels. You can have one dashboard where you can see Facebook and Google and SEO side by side if you want that. So if you really wanna see level five, um, this is a fantastic uh, place to start the templates and this tool called Supermetrics if you want to import a lot of data and see it in one place. I think it's already very cheap for people who actually do paid advertising. So what questions does level five answer? What is the performance across all of my traffic sources? And I want to see that in one place. I want to put it on a shiny dashboard for my team to see, for me to wake up to, to get push notifications for it, whatever. Yeah. So that is to me what Google Data Studio does. And it has pretty much limitless 
connection possibilities. You can really just connect your database to it and, and pull data from your database, combine that again with data from analytics, from Facebook. It's, it's fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed that little jump into the level five world. And if you want to keep learning, I've a couple of resources I would really like to recommend to you. And these are also in order of difficulty. So support.google.com is the official uh, support dashboard. Um, uh, there's the support area of Google and you wouldn't believe how much is already explained what is now running through your questions. But if you want that in a very structured way under analytics.piratesskills.com slash analytics academy, you can absolutely book a free online training that is very interactive that will onboard you to Google Analytics. So even if you want to use the web and app thing, go in there and see if they have a course for free there. I think they are one of the best resources to learn analytics for free. And you even get a certificate yeah, for it, which is important for some people in your career track. Then when I have more difficult questions, I keep on landing on this blog called lunametrics.com. And if I have questions about uh, Google Tag Manager, I'm more and more uh, landing on measureschool.com, which has a fantastic YouTube channel by a German guy speaking English as well, like me, he's called Julian, and his YouTube channel, Measure School, and his courses are absolutely recommendable. And if you wanna go how crazy it can get, Kauchik uh, is a blog by a guy who used to work Google and who just shows amazing case studies on what's possible and to see how far you can go. All right, so we have one um, recommendation from Jens. Uh, he recommended a collection of 50 free Data Studio updates in the, uh, in the community chat. Um, feel free to share them as well in the, uh, in the comments between, uh, under the YouTube and the Facebook live stream. Thank you very much. If you guys have resources like that, I really love it when you share those. Thank you very much uh, for sharing that, Jens. All right, so the, these are free resources that all of us can use um, to, to learn more. But let's say you, you want to learn more within the Pirate Skills community. We have a data analytics workshop coming up on May, 20th and if you go to growth.piratesskills.com you can see what's what we are doing in there how is it for you what the pricing is just in case you're interested today was of course the growth roadmap workshop this for this meetup and i'm looking forward to everybody who wants to join us for the content marketing and storytelling one so if that's interesting to you maybe we can share this url at growth.piratesskills.com in the discord um and that concludes our journey today. We now went through five levels of madness in Google Analytics from the very Google basics to building goals and dashboards to adding the display features and retargeting, adding events uh, with Google Data Studio, uh, Google Tag Manager, and then visualizing that all in reports to the Google Data Studio. Yeah. And let me tell you, this is a rabbit hole that you can go down as far as you like. I had to skip so many topics I wanted to really put in there, like using third-party tools like Segment to really have one data API in level five, but the time, yeah, the time. Um, you could also disagree with those levels and uh, yeah, approach it a different way. It's absolutely fine. I hope this was interesting to you. Yeah, let me know in the comments whether or not you learned something. And actually, that's what I would really like to hear from you guys. Uh, is there something that you took away from today where you think that is something I have to implement today or tomorrow in my business? I would really love to hear that. Let me know on Discord or in the comments. Thank you all guys for coming here in, in this meetup round online and Hope you have enjoyed this as much as I have nerding around and I want to see you again next time in May when we talk about making Instagram ads profitable again. First of all, this is bye bye, bye bye live stream 
and um, see you there. Bye-bye.